It's only four points. Okay. So our contestants in this um, match for place three are, of course, the losers of the semifinals. Promi, which got completely destroyed by, by Barbarian in four relatively quick games. Yes, and exactly. And Illuminati, which lost to Tribal in a very close series, which went on for two and a half hours. Yeah, it was very exciting to to watch. And it was a pleasure to co-cast those uh, games with uh, you, because we, we both are the the two scripters of Illuminati and Tribal, so it was it was uh, interesting to to talk with you during those games. And it's too bad that Promiscuity isn't here now to cast this game with me, because that would have been just the same situation. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we're used to doing this. Yeah. So yes, I will open the bracket quickly, and then we can start our games. So this is um, will be a best of seven again. Yes. For the third place decider, and after this, we still have the grand final left between Barbarian and Treble Warrior, which will also be a best of seven. Yes, it might be played uh, tomorrow normally. And uh, who yeah. knows? Who knows? Maybe we will have the Max, which will co-cast with me. But I'm really I, not I, sure. I don't think he has a microphone. Okay. Well. It's sad because it would be a, a great co-caster, I think. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, uh, so let me put the AIs. Illuminati. Promi. Okay, I think all is ready to start. Let's go then. Yep. Let me check if... Yep. Yeah. Okay, the streaming might work perfectly. I maybe yeah. Okay, so we can start. So um about these AIs, are you starting? Yes. So Illuminati and Promi both are top four AIs, as is of course also evidenced um, by them having it made to the playoffs to the top four already in this tournament. Yes. That's right. And well, Promis, uh, Promi has been an, an, is a relatively old AI already. I think it's been in development for about five years. Illuminati, my AI, is much newer. It's um, really only um, started being developed uh, in mid last year, so it's still relatively young. And it's one of the two AIs together with Tribal, which have really are really the strong newcomers in the AI scene. Yeah, and the, the good point is the fact that um, Illuminati and Tribal are kind of a new generation of AI, as yeah. you said, because, yeah, uh, we, they are the newest in this world. And for me, at least, uh, uh, used to, to be the top two AI, maybe top three with the world. Yeah, it's definitely top two at the moment, I would say. And it's yeah. really the, the horde that t took the worst of the newcomers because I would say Illuminati and Tribal have both overtaken the horde. Yeah. So, so the horde has kind of dropped out of the top four at this point, especially because it had problems keeping up with all the new AIs and some of the new stuff um, that's happening in the <laughs> with AI scripting. And yeah, it's really... I would really say that the four AIs that made it to the top four here are the best four AIs currently, Barbarian, Tribal, Illuminati, and Promi. Yeah. And still, Barbarian is quite in another league. It's by far the best. And it's really uh, it's really just between the three AIs, Illuminati, Promi, and Tribal. They are on an equal level, I would say. They are pretty much the same strength. Yes, exactly. The, the, the score of Illuminati against Tribal was a real proof uh, in the fact that they are very close. And at least uh, Tribal against Promi was 2-2 in, uh, in the group B of uh, the previous stage. Uh, so we can really... Uh, I've looked to see uh, pretty fair games against uh, uh, again against the Promi and Illuminati. Maybe and, yeah, yeah. Promi and Illuminati is also a classic matchup. We've seen that in the semi-final of last Davis Cup, where they had a close series that ended 3-2 in favor of Promi. But since then, Illuminati has had a bunch of improvements, while Promi hasn't had that many. So this one is really should also be a really close game, just like Illuminati Tribal. Yes. So we might have maybe uh, more than two hours uh, <laughs> co-casting these games. So let's get into this game finally. Um, it is a Turk War again for the 1v1. Uh, we've seen a, a lot of Turk Wars actually in 1v1s. It's yeah, just yeah. random. Yes, that's true. 
And, and the map, the map is horrible for both players. Just look at those wood lines. That's just Arabia map generation. Yes, exactly. Those, yeah, those water are always a big problem for AIs. I, I see that uh, you got to, okay, you could get yeah, stuck Illuminati during a long was, time. was stuck um, because it was trying to lure a deer that's on the edge of the map. So it couldn't pass to the next point. So of course it gets stuck. And um, that will be able to be fixed um, in the next version of the user patch, which is coming out soon, user patch 1.5. Wow. There, will be, there will be better options to avoid bugs like that. But yeah. um, as of yet, we're still on 1.4. And yeah, <laughs> we're at the end of an era, of the 1.4 era, I would say. Pretty soon, we're, oh, the AIs will be starting to adapt to the new user patch stuff that will come in with 1.5. Yeah. And the AIs will get a lot stronger in general, I would say. And it's really just also, it will take a lot of time investment from the scripters to, to make best use of the new commands that are available then. Yeah, and we can already predict that the, the improvement will, will be very interesting in the fact that it will permit to, to, to make them play closer than the human uh, players, uh, especially in the micro of the units. Uh, taking a taking count of the hills, I mean the the hills, yeah, the yeah, elevation. The hills, yeah, it can be really interesting. And also um, the exploration, you can check whether a point of the map is already explored, so you can have much better DOC scouting even. Yeah. And a lot, of, a lot of other features as well. It would be hard to sum them up all at once. Yeah. To be honest, so, uh, I I got a very uh, a very small idea of all what the 1.5 uh, will uh, will give us but i let's not forget walling walling is going to be big yes at least that's true i already have big plans for Volluminati. <laughs> okay so anyway um the strategies for these ais are pretty much the same they both went up on 25 26 pop to feudal age and um illuminati is making a mix of skirmishers and archers yeah and probably let me just check the units are still garrisoned and probably is actually making pure archers at the moment yeah, yeah. And Promise, look at Promise tower placement. It's on the on the far lumber camp. It's already building a tower there, and Illuminati isn't attacking yet though. Yeah, I see the tower of uh, of Promi close to the good lumber camp. Here we go. Illuminati just started attacking, and it will really depend where Illuminati goes. The tower shouldn't be that much of a problem because if Illuminati sees a tower, it will um, circumnavigate it and DOC to the next best camp, which will probably be the lumber camp um, that's closer to the TC. Yeah, which which is really bad at le actually. And uh, all, uh, now Prom is also um, starting to make skirmishers, so uh, I was going to say that Illuminati will have the military advantage because it had more skirmishers, but now Prom is also making skirmishers, so this fight can be interesting here. Yes. Illuminati starts hitting Prom town now, and here comes Prom army to defend. Oh, I see that Illuminati has already... Uh, all the upgrades, Promi yeah. doesn't have any! Promi doesn't even have a blacksmith yet! Exactly. Oh my god! Yeah. GG! Yeah, it's... Well played, Promi. <laughs> more like next time. Yeah, it's already <laughs> hurting a lot the economy, especially the farmers. It will at least delay, uh, delay the castle age. Yeah. Promise, um, Promi lost all of its army. Illuminati still has a bunch of units there and is sending reinforcement as, enforcements as well. And I think um, Promi already lost a bunch of villagers, keeps losing villagers, and all those villagers keep getting idle in the town center. This game is already over. Yeah. Well, we already yeah. need that Illuminati uh, is maybe stronger than Promi in uh, in one in v one, one and two v two yes. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. In the 4v4, I guess Promi could still be strong, especially in the late game. Promi is strong on 4v4, so that's, that's one, something I know for sure. But um, I still think the 3v3 and 4v4 will also be very interesting games. And Illuminati can definitely also do something there. Yeah, you worked a lot on the team games for UAI, so it can be uh, really stronger than the Davis Cup Season 2, especially against Promi. So what happened with Promi in this game? It seems like it couldn't account for that bad lumber, for those bad wood lines, and it didn't have never had enough wood to build its blacksmith, and it didn't stop making farms to make a blacksmith. Yeah, that's what exactly. decided the game. It didn't have a blacksmith. It didn't have any of the upgrades as a, as a consequence, so it had no chance of defending versus Illuminati's upgraded army. Yeah, and it's, it's already GG clearly because uh, yeah. the the wool idle villager are winning yeah. the, the economy. What Promi would have needed to do is to stop making farms to build a blacksmith. That's what it would have needed to do. I don't know why it didn't do that. Or if it never does that. That would surprise me, honestly. 
Yeah, I'm surprised too because it's the first time I see Promi in that situation. Damn, okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Promi to resign. It still has a bunch of villagers alive, but a lot of them are idle, of course. Um, Illuminati is almost in Castle Age, so as soon as it gets there, it will build a, um, a siege workshop and will make some battering ramps to finish up this game if Promi hasn't resigned by then. Yes, I see, I see already a third archer range. Uh, well, it, it, it could have just made a siege workshop and mass rooms. Yeah, it's, it's not in Castle Edge yet. Uh, still 10 seconds to go. It has enough wood, of course. Um, here we go. A, is there a siege workshop? Let's see. What did it build? I think it just got some upgrades, building a second TC now. No, it doesn't have wood for the... It got the Elite Skirmisher upgrade, I think. That's where all the wood went. No, it didn't. Where did all the wood go? I think into eco upgrades. Yeah, it just built a new lumber camp, a new TC. Yeah, yeah. here comes the, the siege workshop finally. It's a bit far away, man. I hope Promi resigns before then. Oh, I see Promi making even uh, a market, market after yes, after having made a blacksmith. But and now it's... it has a blacksmith too, but it's far too late anyway. Yeah. And the blacksmith is blacksmith is idle because it, I don't see fletching already. No. It doesn't have it doesn't have any food income because all the farmers are idle, of course. I think Promi should resign pretty soon. Yeah, it should probably have resigned already. Come on, increase the game speed. <laughs> yeah, can, that's true. Probably maybe have to wait for the battering ramps to arrive. Okay, first game <laughs> really impressive by, that by that Illuminati. Was really it was already decided in the first attack because probably didn't have a blacksmith. How many games Illuminati won in 1 versus 1 in this tournament already? Not many. I think it lost most of them. It definitely lost them to Juggernaut, it lost them to Mininaut, it yes. lost to... Um, it lost to Tron as well. Yeah, it only won against Eagle Revenge, <laughs> yeah. if I'm true, and it lost the two 1v1 against Tribal. This is Tribal as well. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so it's only the second 1v1 won by Illuminati. This game, yeah. But <laughs> um, in general, Illuminati is really strong in the 1v1s, it just hasn't shown this in this tournament. Yeah. But here, but here we saw that it definitely is strong, and it will punish a mistake like not building a blacksmith. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice lesson given by Illuminati in this game. It's uh, it's uh, a barbarian like. I mean, it punish uh, a mistake well, made by the opponent. <laughs> not on barbarian level, of course. <laughs> Why is Promi not resigning? It doesn't have a TC anymore. It's down to one population. Why is it not resigning? It's doing a juggernaut. Oh, look at the villager. Maybe which is going to build something forward. Let's see a uh, one tower. What is it doing? What is that? What the hell is that villager doing? I hope it gets killed by the wolves. Okay. <laughs> oh, design. Too bad. I wanted to get, to see it get killed by wolves. Okay. It was really unpredictable <coughs> to see Promi losing that fast. But anyway, let's start the second game. Yeah, um, we will remember in the in Davis Cup 2, Illuminati won the 1v1 and 2v2 and lost the 3v3 and 4v4 versus Promi. Yeah. That may be an, uh, a point to ori for orientation in how this match could go. I will definitely say that uh, I think Promi has the better chances in uh, chances in the 3v3 and 4v4 because of how strong it is in the late game. Are you inside? Yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we have the 2v2 now. Yeah. Uh, Mayans and Vikings. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, very strong uh, civilization in, yeah, uh, very strong in Feudal and Castle Age. And actually, Illuminati can do a Mayan clue in 2v2s as well now. Oh, It will really depend on its scouting. It is green, I believe. Yeah, so I'm going to take a look, <laughs> keep watching green and see if that strategy triggers. It would have to be before like 3 minutes and 40 seconds or something, and it would have to have scouted both of its boars. At least six sheep, all of its deals, the deals need to be close. It hasn't found its second boar yet, but it might. Hasn't found any gold yet though. Oh, it has, sorry. I think it might actually trigger, because the deer are so close. If it starts luring deer right now, then maybe. 
I haven't seen him at his stealing a, a boar in this Davis Cup season 3, or maybe I am, I am wrong. Or maybe against Tron in the first game. Okay, I do, I do believe Green will actually try a clue here. So we definitely have to watch and see how this goes. It should stop making villagers at 20 and then try to go for the fastest castle age possible. Um, definitely the time will matter a lot. If it gets like a time under 14 minutes, then it will be really great. If it gets slower, maybe a 15 minute time, then it won't be as strong. What do, and you, also think, what, what do you think about the distance between green and yellow? Can it be an handicap for, for Illuminati? No, the distance between the allies shouldn't be a handicap for Illuminati because Illuminati doesn't help its teammates anyway in the 2v2. Okay. So that shouldn't matter. Maybe the distance between blue and green could be a problem if uh, blue attacks fast enough to uh, to punish green before it gets to castle age. Yeah. But I, I don't believe I don't believe it's quick enough for that. Um, I think yeah, I think Promi can be really aggressive uh, if it has the advantage uh, military advantage detected. Um, with arches, it can be uh, a problem, I think, for immunity. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, um, definitely the best uh, choice, or at least a good choice, better than skirmishers. It is to make archers versus uh, the eagle warriors. Yeah. Uh, with fletching, well. They, they will only do one damage um, if Illuminati has both of the armor upgrades for this Eagle Warriors, but it can't get both of the armor upgrades quickly in the clue because of how fast the uh, castle edge is and how, how weak the economy will be. Hmm. From all the other players, we can probably expect a ranged flash again because that's really all Illuminati and Promi do in Feudal Age. Um, so maybe Illuminati will win the 1v1 on the other side again. Green is already up to fuel age, so it will have about a 10, sec a 10 minute fuel age time. Then it will depend whether it has enough enough food and uh, it already has enough uh, wood to build it, all the buildings it needs. So it will also it will only depend on whether it has enough food to click up to castle age quickly. Yeah. I have noticed that for me, uh, uh, pretty often has problem with wood in er very early feudal age. It used to, to reach feudal quickly. Yeah, and then it doesn't, have, then and it doesn't have enough wood to, to make the archery ranges. That's yes. right, I've noticed that as well. Yeah. Okay, so blue blue is making his, his uh, barracks already. It might be, yeah. Okay, Illuminati. Here we go. Green has now all its, all its villagers, that. all its, wood, uh, its food villagers on the berries because all the other food sources are expired. Um, it's building market and blacksmith, of course. And I think it will have. It will have maybe have to wait a few seconds before clicking up if it has the 800 food, but it is already close. It's selling its stone for gold, and yeah, it should be. No, if it drops all of its food from the villagers, from the barrier, from the foragers, then it can click up in a few seconds. And here we go, right now. That's wow. uh, 11:40, 12:40. That's a 14:40 castle edge time. 14:20. Uh, okay. 14:20. I mean. Okay, really impressive. I didn't notice, in fact, that green has a terrible map with wood yeah, look, so look at how far. Yeah, look at how far that wood is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. And the go and forward as well, and so is the gold. That wood is actually really close to to Promi. So Promi attacks early. Yeah. I think it's just ungarrisoned. I think it's it's gonna attack right now. So it could Promi uh, Illuminati might not have enough wood to build a second barracks even. Yeah, and this would be a problem. Yeah, it's already going on the lumber camp. Let's see. Oh yes, it yeah, it found it. I think. Okay. Yeah, here we go. All the villagers are going idle, and let's see. It's about to hit Castle Age, and it, it will start making, um, of course, Eagle Warriors. But it only has one barracks, so it can't make enough Eagle Warriors quickly. I believe that would be a problem. Okay, I'm really impressed by the 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 time to reach Castle. It's amazing. The record is actually 13 minutes and 14 seconds for Illuminati. Wow. The problem now is Illuminati doesn't have a second llama camp. It yeah. can't build one, doesn't have enough wood to build a second barracks either. So it will have to do with this one barracks. This will be a problem. And red is doubling it as well. What's going on there? Why is red doubling? Have they not found um, yellow? Oh, it looks like. No, they in fact have not found yellow. Okay, but I think it will find it now because I see the red scoot close to yellow, but no, it's going back. Okay, Illuminati uh, Green has its first three Eagle Warriors out with one armor upgrade at least. Maybe they can even defend versus both players here. That would give Yellow the the, um, the chance to counter attack versus Red. Red is now retreating actually. Yeah, at least Blue does have fletching, so these archers do two damage to Green's Eagle Warriors. But uh, now Green has enough even from just one barracks, and yeah, still only one Lama camp. But now it can at least gather wood from the Lama camp again. 
And is even attacking blue now. But I think blue has enough archers there to defend. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, more than enough. And red is still helping blue. Yeah. Yellow, yellow is finally moving out for its attack. I was waiting for this. So I hope yellow can do some da good damage to red here. I don't see a tower from red. At least it has a blacksmith this time. <laughs> and has uh, at least uh, fletching already. Yes, yeah. Oh, ye yellow is starting to attack red. Yeah. And it's a good, good point for red to have uh, retreated its army at time. But now it's, green. it's pure luck. Green is finally building its second barracks. It's, it built a second lumber camp also, but <laughs> again in the same spot because of how bad its map is with the woods so far away. That can those lumber camps are definitely going to be a problem in the future again. Oh, Red Here is, go, then. Red is, Red is sending uh, villagers one by one to, to yeah, die. Yeah, trying to trying to build that lumber camp there. Now it's finally cancelled it. Here comes the army from Red now to defend. They are both in the same elevation, but Illuminati has many more units there, and Illuminati has the armor grab grid as well, which uh, Red doesn't have. So Illuminati will just wreck red here again. Yes. And green is still on the offensive versus blue at the same time. So this uh, clue is working out all right. Definitely pretty bad because of that forward lumber camp, but still. Not as bad as I feared. Yeah, but with, with, a, with a terrible map, it shows that uh, it's the really problem, powerful. The problem is that green hasn't made a single villager yet in Castle Age. Really? <laughs> No, it's, it, will, it will only start making villagers after it has the chainmail upgrade. Okay, it's uh, really extreme. But at least, yeah, of course it's extreme. That's what the clue has to be. It has to be extreme. At least uh, yellow is wrecking red now. Red has reached Castle Age and is building a second TC, but it lost all of its army. It's getting a lot of villagers idle uh, and already also lost a bunch of villagers already. Yeah, I, I guess that yellow is, is uh, gonna reach castle pretty soon. Yeah, it's, all, it's also clicked up. Um, red was fast to the castle age, but of course it lost the fight there. So yellow will definitely have the advantage in this fight versus red. Green will have will have problems though. Green will have problems. Because it did, couldn't do enough damage. Now it's finally starting to make villagers again. But uh, it has chainmail. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have many eagle warriors. And it's, it's deciding not to attack anymore. Because blue has so many uh, so much army. And blue has even made men at arms. Yes. And it's, it's also yes, so castle it's... age now. It's really... It, I think it will go come down to a 1v1 between yellow and blue. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Let's see if yellow can make a siege workshop maybe to finish up uh, off red as fast as it can here. It's building a second TC at least and, and now it's building a siege workshop. Yeah, it's a good position too. So those battering rams won't uh, won't take a long time to arrive at, at red's town. Red's also building it. Well, it's, it has three TCs already, but its population is already really low, I believe. Yeah, it's down to 20 population already. Yeah, even is getting the wolf farmers actually. Now green is, is trying to attack again, but uh, this definitely won't work because now blue even has a defensive castle and it has a bunch of men at arms. Okay, let's see if uh, Illuminati can retreat from castle. It does. <laughs> yeah, oh. it can. oh yes, it does. <laughs> Kinda. It should really just stop its attack at this point. Yeah. Does Mongolia yeah. retreat from castle? Yeah, of course it does. Good job. <laughs> Now there's a battering ram there, but it should just retreat completely now because it lost most of its army already. <laughs> anyway, um, yellow, now finally yellow's battering ram is arriving, it's first and second one too, so it should take down red's town relatively quickly here. I, it should, yellow, let's see if yellow has a better boom than blue at least, that's definitely important here. No, blue actually has the best boom in this game, there's more villagers than yellow. So, yellow also has the better late game still with Mayans, so yellow, um, blue I mean, so blue has Blue, I think, is in the best position to win this game single-handedly now. Well, it depends because red is clearly dead pretty soon, and yeah, I guess that green is, yellow green might, might that attack, attack blue. No. Yeah, hopefully, I hope so. Uh, at least after it clear, cleans up the military buildings and the three seas, I hope that it will switch to blue. But blue also has a good army of its own, and it's making a ton of plumed archers now. And plumed archers are really good. And wh wh what is the, is the criteria to to switch uh, to the enemy? It, it doesn't even have any. It doesn't even have any yet. Ah, okay. For example, t uh, if tribal uh, has uh, a very edge uh, uh, domination, 
based on the number of villagers, for example, yeah. it, will, uh, it will attack the, the next enemy. That's definitely something that's still missing from Illuminati. Um, uh, condition to switch to the next enemy, if one is as well as that. Now it will have to wait to clean up all of red space, or at least most of it. Okay. I think now it might actually be switching now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't know why it's switching. I, don't, I really don't know what is, how how it does that because it, I definitely don't have any specific code for it. It just seems to do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if blue will be able to defend versus this attack. And green is attacking now as well. It's a coordinated attack. Uh, green is losing all of its army, of course, and blue has even started attacking itself. But now yellow should yellow should um, have the advantage here because blue's army was kind of busy, and I think it. Uh, I hope it lost at least a few units to green's eagle warriors. Yeah, but anyway, Illuminati has many, many crossbows, but some yeah, the skirmishers, veteran, I which think the veteran works will have. The veteran rams will really help here versus the also the plumed archers. And it has a ton of units, especially the elite skirmishers will also be good. Here we go, here comes the fight. Blue is now has its units here to defend. The castle is not quite there on that side. Why is... Yellow shouldn't be retreating. No, yellow isn't retreating. Okay, I hope the, the veteran rams are going on the TC. Yeah, yellow, Blue's army is getting massacred by yellow now. Yeah. But blue is up to Imperial Age. Oh. Blue is up to Imperial Age, but that won't matter that much if it loses all of its army. Yeah, I, I, And I, even villagers. It's losing villagers as well, and a lot of villagers are idling too. And that this TC is the one that's researching Imperial Age. Illuminati is gonna cancel promised Imperial Age research. <laughs> <laughs> Get okay. Fucked, and anyway, for me, I don't, have, I don't have any any good uh, spot of gold actually, because the whole spot of gold deals were uh, forward. From yellow, so <laughs> no nice. gold for for me. I don't even know what what it would want to do. I, th I think it it would still uh, focus on um, on arbalests uh, and plumed archers, but it lost all its army already. So now yellow can just take down, can't take it down despite the age disadvantage. No, it doesn't have an age disadvantage. It's actually an imperial age, and blue isn't an imperial age <laughs> because blue's TC got killed. <laughs> 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 That's insane. <laughs> nice job, yellow. So basically, yellow won this game 1v2. Easy yeah. enough. Yeah. Easy enough. But I like I like to watch green anyway. It's yeah. It was kind of useless. But the, the, uh, the only reason the only reason it didn't work was because of its horrible uh, wood. Yeah, it was that, terrible. That's why it didn't work. Otherwise, it would have done much better versus blue. I think that many AIs would have just bugged because of the the this kind yeah. of map with a lumber camp uh, built. Uh, Around uh, uh, close to nothing, but at, at least that's uh, definitely a daring strategy, a <laughs> very bold strategy, and no other AI even has a strategy like this. Yeah, I think um, Tron tries it, but it's much worse than Illuminati. Yes, in fact, uh, that's true. As long as Mayan, I think uh, uh, Tron can can do this kind of thing. But it's it's much slower than yeah, what Illuminati does. Yeah, it's around uh, 15 minutes, if I'm right. Yeah, so <laughs> now Green Siege is all also helping cleaning up blue space. Good job. <laughs> really, we saw uh, again on the left side uh, of the map, we saw yellow beating red just in the same, in the similar style as the, as the first game went. Just winning the feudal fight and um, winning from there. And on the other side, well, Green stay <laughs> did enough to stay alive and distract blue's army for, for yellow to, to kill, to finish off blue. Green stayed with one TC only. During Actually, the it's, winning game. A, it's winning a second TC now yeah. in blue space. <laughs> yeah, on the gold of, of, of yeah. the poor blue. Nice. GG. 2 0 yeah. for Illuminati. Okay. It's surprising because we expected uh, f uh, very even games, and <laughs> actually, we, don't, we have just uh, <laughs> a massacre. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I would I would really be surprised if Illu has as easy a game in the three v three and four v four as it did in these two games. I think it will have it will be much harder for Illuminati to win those games. I think now we're getting into the interesting ones at least. Well, in my in my opinion, for having tested a lot uh, Illuminati and Promi uh, against against uh, my AI, I would say that uh, um, your your last version of Illuminati uh, look stronger than. Uh, pro me in team games. In, really? In the, in the point of view of, of tribal, I mean. At, I guess at least in the early game, it's stronger than tribal uh, than pro me because um, pro me's pockets really uh, don't do much in castle age. They make a few knights and often don't even use them, um, because there's too little of too few of them. 
and the focus really is strongly on that boom. So uh, definitely, Promi will have, we can expect Promi's pockets to have a, a faster and a stronger boom than Illuminati in the team games. But um, if Illuminati is able to kill the flanks, then the games will be very interesting. Vikings, Aztecs, and Persians. Ooh, I hope. Let's see uh, where is uh, Promi's the Aztec. Aztec. It's yellow. It's in the pocket. Oh my god. Ooh, that's, okay. that's, just, that's just unfair. Illuminati doesn't have the Aztec pocket. Illuminati's Aztecs on the flank. That's really unfair. But at least um, Illuminati's pockets is Vikings. So it will go for a champ flood in the Imperial Age. So that could counter out the eagle flood from yellow. But of course, yellow's eagle flood will be much, fa much faster. It makes me thinking, thinking about uh, zero, zero against Yggdrasil. Because, as you know, Yggdrasil uh, has uh, Aztec, yeah. Viking, and uh, Mayan in 3 vs 3. And Zero was lucky with an Aztec pocket um, going uh, at least uh, uh, Eagles in, in Imperial Age. But uh, uh, Yggdrasil as Viking pocket just went champions and wrapped uh, Zero very easily. So yeah. let's see if Illuminati will go maybe champions. Actually, I, I think Illuminati got really, really unlucky with the Sith distribution here. I mean, the Sifts are Vikings, Persians, and Aztecs. And out of these two, uh, three Sifts, Aztecs and uh, Persians are pretty good uh, pocket Sifts, and Vikings is a really bad pocket Sif. So Illuminati got really unlucky here with the uh, Sif distribution. Yeah, because at least uh, I guess that Illuminati as Viking won't just boom. And yeah, it champion, so, yeah, it will. It will at least make a few knights in, uh, in Castle Age, so... I hope Illuminati is able to take to take out at least one flank from uh, from Promi, and if if we see it going the way the one we wanted to be two went, it might even kill both flanks. So that that would be the way Illuminati um, could uh, could still win this game, and in spite of Promi's eagle flood. Yeah, I keep in mind that Promi can win one versus three with its uh, Aztec strategy. So, oh yeah, so of course strong. it can. But I'm pretty sure that in fact. Uh, uh, it might turn in a two, ver two versus three. Uh, I mean, this this game could have just as well turned out opposite that Illuminati has an Aztec pocket and uh, Promi didn't, and Illuminati's um, pocket Eagle Flood is just as strong as Promises. <laughs> I even improved it a lot in 1.0. Okay, I would have liked to to see that. Yeah, that's just that's just unfair in this game. A bit unlucky for Illuminati. So Promi definitely has luck on its side this time, and it it definitely needs it after already being being two two points behind in this match. <laughs> okay, sometimes for me, for me need need luck. Okay, so at least from the flanks, uh, we can expect a standard range flash again because um, Illuminati and Promi don't do any uh, scout rush shenanigans or anything like that. Yeah. Maybe we, we're gonna have a Promi bug that it goes FC or something. I'm gonna yeah. I keep an eye on that. Actually, purple goes for a militian rush. I mean, purple a rush. Is it, it rush, yeah. Yes, it's rushing. It means that it, it won't just fast castle and lose. Look at it, scout. The scout is spazzing out. I think we see that in another game. It's in another game where the scout was buggy like this. Yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't know what to do. Look oh, at it. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Around. I think it, it's it's now Illuminati's, Illuminati's villagers are fighting back and yeah. causing the purple uh, militia, militia men to retreat. And it's only fighting back with one villager, and purple is still retreating. So that one villager is really effective here at canceling out the whole rush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems to be more aggressive, I think. And yes, the scoot bug is clear. <laughs> And in the opposite side, um... yeah, teal at least had a much faster fuel age time than uh, than green. Um, so let's see if it, is, it goes in the aggressive. The thing is, a promi isn't very aggressive in fuel age, so I don't still don't expect it to go in the offensive there. And um, yeah, purple still the rush is still in effect. Now Illuminati isn't defending anymore. I don't think. Well, uh, let's see how this goes. Illuminati's villagers should fight back. Only one of them is fighting back. I don't know why. More of them should be fighting back. Come on, Promi, you could kill that villager. <laughs> no, it's going. Do it. Come on. So now, now Illuminati has some archers out there. <laughs> yeah, so it's too late. Gonna die. I'm interested to see what Purple is going to do to follow this up with. If it's going to go for Fast Castle, no. It seems to be going for a flush itself after that. I don't know because no. there are already many farms. It's, it doesn't, it's, it's not building an archery range. It's building a defensive tower. It doesn't have nearly enough farms. It has no food. If it wanted to go for a fast castle, it would have had to have much, many more farms in Dark Age already. 
Yeah, so if it, I so see that's a, a really, stable. That's really bad. Yeah, it's bringing a stable in Blacksmith now, so it will try for a fast castle, but that's a really bad fast castle. A really bad fast castle after the rush. And here the Illuminati can punish it. Because of its DOC attack, it's still navigating the tower, going straight to the mining camp, and forcing a promi of gold completely. Yeah. Okay, so this side is turning pretty bad already for Promi. But uh, that's the thing, it doesn't matter how many flanks Promi loses, because its pocket, its pocket's eagle card is so strong that it's, like you said, it could win 1v3. In the other so side, uh, the teal looks safe, actually. Yeah, teal... There's not much going on between teal and green. Yeah. No, I don't think anyone's even attacking there. Um, at least both have built a defensive tower, even. So we, we won't see anything there, but I hope at least purple is going to get taken out here. And if blue ha is helping out green and going on teal, then it could also win that flank. I hope that's what's going to happen for blue here. Yeah, because it, it would waste its time if it goes on purple, which is already in big trouble. Yeah, purple purple hasn't even clicked up to castle age, and it's not going to get up to castle age because it never had enough food, and all of it, now all of its um, farmers are going idle as well. It's building a market, maybe you can sell some resources to get the, the nah. food, no? no, no it, doesn't, it doesn't have any gold income either, because it's forced off gold, because that's where Illumina Illuminati's army is. Yeah, it's it's going to mean some stone, but it won't be that useful. Oh, it, go, it goes uh, uh, archery range now, to archery range. It's switching its, its strategy now. <laughs> I don't know what it does at this point, but it doesn't matter, because it's already out of the game. It maybe it's right to cancel its fast castle now, yeah, it's possible. Building three archery ranges for no reason, wasting all of its wood. No, it doesn't have anything left. But let's see where Blue's knights are going. I hope they're going on teal. They're just camping in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Yeah. I think they were trying to attack teal and then stopped. Or are they going on purple? Yeah. That, they, they wouldn't be very useful um, going on purple, sadly. Let's, why see, what, why, why, let's see what green is doing. Um, why are these units just... Why are they neither retreating nor attacking? They, I've never seen this from Illuminati. I've seen this from other AIs, but not Illuminati. I think it's it might be the tower that they yeah. don't want to attack. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really efficient. Actually. No, it's not doing anything. I'll have to look into that for sure. At least it has a hill advantage there, so if the fight happens here, then it could kill most of Teal's army. But Green doesn't have a big army there. I don't know why. This green is almost in castle age, um, but uh, teal is um, also almost in castle age. Okay, let's take a look at yellow. Yellow is um, has three TCs, has a lot of food already. I think it won't be much longer until it goes up to imperial age. Yeah, it's it's building one siege workshop. I, yeah, I don't know what's going I, on. I see a monastery. Like I don't know what's going on with Blue's Knights either. I think they're kind of tied to green if, if because they're trying to co-op attack with green. If green, green's army stops attacking, then the Blue Knights also stop attacking. That's yeah, kind of look, look, look at those, uh, those uh, Blue Knights in the middle of the map. Actually, Purple now finally managed to defend versus Red made it after making a lot of skirmishes. But um, Purple still not <laughs> not up to Castle Age. Red is already in Castle Age. Yeah, your knights your knight, uh, are dancing. I don't know what. Oh go on, oh, god damn it. Did you did you see it? Is it yeah, I see it. I see them in the middle of the map. <laughs> no idea what's going on there. I've never seen that with Illuminati. <laughs> Something is is uh, triggering pretty yeah. bad. I think it's the TSA switch code, something like that. Let's hope that it, it won't happen the, the rest of the game for blue. Okay, blue also has three TCs, but it's uh, it's not gonna go up to castle age soon. It's gonna f um, boom first, and yellow is already up to imperial age. Uh, imperial age, I mean, yellow is already up to imperial age. It's, it should start making barracks now. Yeah, it's starting to build barracks, and as soon as it gets there, that's that's really that's really fast. That's about 29 minutes. It will start making elite eagle warriors, and that's that's a really strong eagle eagle flood then, and a really fast one. It looks uh, like Teal tried a douche against uh, Green, but uh, nah. the, the TC is still a bit too far. I think um, Yellow's Yellow's Eagle Flood is just gonna just gonna decide the whole game here. It's, I think it, it, it can kill maybe both Illuminati flanks at once. Yeah, that is possible. Okay, 
Okay, now there's, there's actually a lot of blue knights, but they're just in, in red space at the moment, not doing anything. They should be attacking, I hope. Nah, what's going on with the blue knights? There's so many of them, doing nothing. Then red space at the moment, just dancing around. <laughs> oh, I think because they're... Because Teal is the closest player, they would only attack Teal. Here come the Elite Eagle Warriors now from Yellow. Yeah. They're already upgraded to Elite. They are getting the Plate Mail Armor upgrade too, so they are gonna have all the crucial, crucial upgrades. And they are, they are about to steamroll red right here. I believe. I don't know why, why Green is that late uh, about the score against Teal. So they don't fight much each other. Um, let me check. Teal and Green. Well, Teal has a few villagers advantage, not much. Okay. And yeah, the uh, Eagle Riot from Yellow are already. Yeah, red is gonna die for red. sure. There's no chance for it to defend here. And the blue knights all ran back to its base now, so it won't help defend any <laughs> anymore. Yeah, at least blue is up to Imperial Age as well. The problem is those knights are gonna be gone, gonna be very useful. At least it's gonna stop making champions right away. It already had long swordsmen. It's gonna st now it's in period age, it's gonna get the two hundred swordsman upgrade and it will keep making two hundred swordsmen. So maybe it, it will be able to stop the eagle flood, but there's already so many eagles that it will still be hard. Yeah, actually it's, it's going on teal. Yeah, the blue knights are. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, red is definitely uh, lost here. Yeah, and purple managed to survive. At least I think the blue knights can do some damage in green's fight versus uh, versus teal here. I hope they can do um, can turn this around. Green also has a bunch of siege, so it can take down that forward town center we're talking about. And yeah, the blue knights are definitely helping versus uh, versus teal's army here. Oh yes. But green doesn't have too much of an army itself. That's the problem. And red being taken out is definitely a huge problem because that was as takes. That would have been a good a player with a good economy for Illuminati. Yeah, it's very sad to, to lose uh, the Aztec. Okay, now the Eagles are coming to the same to the same flank where also the blue two hundred swordsmen are. So now the blue the blue army will most likely perform relatively well versus yellow here. And hopefully they can push here and take out Tear. That would even up the game. Yeah, because at least uh, yellow won't touch blue, because it forces to to oh it goes on green actually. Yeah, it looks like it's going on green, and blue. I hope that blue can help it defend here. Yeah. Oh, there's so many Eagle Warriors though, it's gonna be hard for Blue to help defend. At least, at least it's getting the champion upgrade now, but it's also... Why, why is it getting pikemen? Is anyone making knights? Yeah, I think Teal is making some knights. Oh yes. But the pikemen are useless versus the Eagle Warriors, sadly. Yeah, I think I think this game is decided, as predicted by the Eagle Flood. Yeah. That's, that's pure luck for the Sif placement. Exactly. 100% luck. In that situation, in 4 vs 4, it would be a little bit different, but in 3 vs 3, uh, being being uh, Aztec Pocket is pretty, pretty strong. Oh, seriously. Okay, um, red is dead, green is also dead at this point. It's just blue left in a 1v3, no chance. And purple is coming on red. For a big revenge. <laughs> There's nothing left of red. Yellow already took care of that. Yes, at least, at least it's, it's finished. I don't even know what to say about this game. It's not even funny. <laughs> I think that blue had uh, critical bugs in Castle Age. It could have used uh, its its uh, yeah. It should have, it should have used that's that's not really a bug. That's just missing features. Anyway, and um, I can guarantee you, if the uh, Civ um, distribution would have been opposite, and Promi would have had Vikings in the pocket, and Illuminati would have had Aztecs in the pocket, and Illuminati would have done the same thing to Promi. Yeah, that's really possible, at least. It's just the Eagle Flood is far too strong for AIs and against AIs. Even against humans, it's really strong. Okay, maybe I should increase the speed. Yeah, increase the speed. Yeah. You can just increase this in game. No need to. Whatever.
Okay, we're just waiting. Blue has still has some army left, but there's no chance he can defend 1v3. Now all all promise should be attacking. Purple isn't, but the other two are at least. Anyway, as you said, Promi is very strong in late game, so yeah, <laughs> no chance for immunity to win a one versus three. There shouldn't be there shouldn't be a chance to win a one v three in any situation, but versus Promi definitely not. Yeah. No, there's Paladins as well. Teal does. And making some um, Jaguar warriors even. And purple also joining in the fun finally. And Promi is full of redded. Looks like. Yeah. Um, actually, purple is missing chemistry, but other than that, it's fully upgraded. Oh yes. Well, here we go. Two Illuminati's already defeated, and we're just waiting for Blue to resign, which it should do um, very soon. I think you should Three, blame, you should blame Illuminati two, for having so bad uh, one. resign rules. What? Why? Some Illuminati resign not... rules are, are missing for Illuminati, no? Definitely not. What are you talking about? <laughs> Blue is dead, man. It has 90 pop. How is it dead? <laughs> <laughs> Full alone against. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should have resigned long ago, but why isn't it? Hmm, bug. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yep, I, I remember that I didn't change the score uh, from the previous game. It's always always time to to act. So yes, it was. It it still was zero zero zero. So it's 2-1 for Illuminati. Yeah, and the next game will be the 4v4. Yep. I think we are probably the strongest. At least the pockets. <laughs> it could still lose its flanks early if it doesn't help them. But if it gets Asterix in the pockets again, then it's, mm, no comment. At least these games didn't last very long. So <laughs> good for us to stream. But they also weren't very interesting. Maybe the 2v2 was kind of interesting, but other than that... Not as good as the tribal Illuminati games. <laughs> okay, but the 4 vs 4 I think can be can be really really impressive. And will give us... It a, definitely can fun. be. Yeah, it should be. Um, okay. So... You ready? Yeah. So let's go. Ooh, Aztec again. No, oh, are you serious? I, I knew this was gonna happen because the the RNG of this game is so bad that it's always the same server as in the last game. <laughs> All right. Okay, where are they? They are blue and um, blue is on the flank again. Here and gray is in, gray is in the park. Is this, are you fucking serious? You rigged this shit. <laughs> this isn't even funny, dude. Oh yeah, this is not fu wow, but it's also Mayans. And 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 from and me, from me as frank as pockets. And Illuminati has uh, okay, okay. At least, at least <laughs> Illuminati, Illuminati has Mayans in pockets, so it can also do an eagle flood. It's gonna be a bit slower than the Aztec one, of course, because it doesn't have that that fast of an economy. But it can can definitely work. Can definitely work. The problem is also that there's a Frank pocket from Promi, as you pointed out, and the Illuminati doesn't have that. So Paladins in that game will will be a huge problem. Yeah, definitely. I think once again, uh, Promi is really more lucky than Illuminati. And, and and Franks are also a horrible flanks for Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, luck. Just stop ringing these games. <laughs> I don't like the map of blue, which has a uh, good forest back, but uh, it's so open in front of its opponent. Well, the openness doesn't really matter because AIs can't wall yet anyway. But yeah, still. in, in 1.5 it will least, be different. At least there's no hill right in front of the space. That would be worse. Yep. Yes. Let's hope that at least that blue, as being Aztecs, can beat the orange flank from Promi, which is um, Saracens. Uh, can beat it on its own, even because both of the pockets won't help. Because of this, uh, those, at that flank, both of the pockets are the the Eagle Flutters, Aztecs for Promi and Mayans for Illuminati. Yeah. 
So, uh, as Mayan, it will go uh, necessarily boom. Which one? Uh, Illuminati as Mayan pocket will necessarily boom. Yeah, of course. Uh, 3TC into Elite Eagle Warriors. Same thing. Okay. Same thing. Okay. But Aztec is always yeah, much Aztec powerful. Yeah, Aztec is definitely faster. Yeah. That's for sure. Fully upgraded, um, fully upgraded army Mayans are better in the late game, but uh, just to get there, Aztecs are much faster. Yeah. So, um, if, well, that could, I don't know, help maybe counter out the uh, the um, Paladins in the late game. Um, if if the game lasts that long, if the Eagle Flood from Grey doesn't straight up win the game for Promi, because it will be uh, will be faster than than Reds. I can assume, um, but at least Illuminati has a good chance to to kill some flanks maybe because on the on the uh, bottom right flank it is Aztecs versus Saracens, and on the other flank it has a bad sieve at least with Franks on the flank versus uh, versus Mayans, but it has its pocket there its green uh, green pockets to help it out with knights. While I'm not sure whether purple is gonna help. The problem is that purple. Being Franks, it's, uh, because it focuses so heavily on its boom in Castle Age, that it will get to its paladins really quickly. Uh, yeah. we, we, we're used to seeing a uh, promi paladins around the 40 minute mark. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, especially because Illuminati will never switch fast enough to start attacking purple uh, early no, it won't. in that game. Anyway, I think this this game will be interesting because we have an eagle flooding player on both on both sides. Yeah, it will be a race between the Mayan <laughs> and the Aztec on the side, which the Aztecs will undoubtedly win, sadly. Well, it's really it's, it will be really important for Blue to get a, an early advantage in Orange because at least uh, being Aztec is really stronger than Sarazin. Yeah. So that flank, Illuminati should get an advantage, and I hope it does. Let's see where Promi will build its tower. Well, in, to if defend. I believe Blue has, uh, if Blue has scouted the back camps, then the tower shouldn't matter that much. Uh, but yeah, uh, Blue has scouted the uh, the back lumber camp and mining camp from Orange. So even if Orange builds a tower, it will send uh, its army there. Okay. The problem is that they might run through the TC. <laughs> That's a possibility. <laughs> anyway, um, I think Orange has more military. That's why Blue is building a tower itself. But it should be much faster up the Castle Age at least. Yeah. And maybe maybe can get an advantage in early Castle Age. Saracen goes uh, skirmishers. Let's see if Orange okay. goes at least on the red, arches. At least Red has a much faster Castle Age time than than Grey, so maybe it can get an early an early advantage here in the boom and, can, and cancel out the the sieve advantage from Grey. So it might just be as fast as as Grey, as we'll see. Hmm. Because it has a better Castle Age time, it can start booming uh, a bit earlier, maybe a minute earlier. I have a look at about purple. Purple, which is uh, castling. Yeah, it's also castling and. We can assume that it's gonna make a few knights and maybe not even use them. While I do hope that green is the, green will use its knights this game, not like last game. <laughs> okay, green okay. is green is faster than the purple. Yeah, at least uh, prom, uh, Illuminati's castle age times are a bit better here, so that can give it an advantage. Yeah, green is even faster than than grey, and grey is the Aztec one. <laughs> Come on, Promi. So red already on three TCs, so it can maybe have a boom advantage over gray. Let's see if that's how it works out. Gray isn't even building a third TC. It might not have enough wood for that. No, it doesn't have enough wood for a third TC as well. So it has a slower cast age time and still doesn't have enough wood to build a third TC right away. Well, well, yeah. it's, it's building a third TC right now. On yeah, it's building it now, but a bit delayed. And red as, yes, already it's three TCs. And here comes blue now, attacking orange, but retreating again. Same as, similarly to last time, because of the tower, it doesn't have enough military advantage to push its attack. Now it's killing its army. If it can kill, it, if it can kill the army there, it will probably switch them to the DOC or camp. I hope that's what's gonna happen. But uh, it's not. It's yellow, not the fight. Yellow. 
Oh, did it not scout Teal? Oh, look at Because Teal, because Teal's position is so close to the map border. Take, let me take a look at the Moonlight scouting. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe they've. I don't believe they found Teal. No, they've only found a blacksmith of Teal, and they don't target blacksmiths. Well. Ooh, Prometheus oh Mayan can be pretty strong in early castle. So again, a bit, a bit lucky, um, <laughs> lucky map for for Teal being so close to map border that didn't get scouted. Yes. But at least Orange will have uh, huge problems because it's now getting getting flanked by Yellow, getting attacked in the rear with the gear. And of course, uh, Green also attacking that flank because <laughs> yeah. he didn't scout Teal. So at least when, I hope. When we at least I hope yeah, at least I hope um, Orange is getting taken out quickly here. It has no chance to defend versus this tripling. And um, Yellow is also already up to Castle Age, and Blue also already up to Castle Age. And Teal is attacking Yellow, though. Yes. And, uh, so this, this would be a big problem for Yellow, because Yellow didn't even build it. Oh, its tower isn't, of course, in the, in the really wrong position, because it didn't score Teal. It couldn't have placed its towers close to Teal. And Purple also attacking with its knights. So Yellow is also going to go down. Okay, but yellow, yellow can That's not can gonna matter. Some knights. Um, it, it's Franks. Yeah, it can maybe train some knights if that has resources, but I doubt that. No, it has, doesn't have enough food to make any knights. Anyway, at least. Yeah, yellow, yellow is pretty much out of this game already. It's, it even retreated its army now to kind of help it defending, but it doesn't matter anymore. At least. So it's pretty much. All, uh, two of the flanks have taken. Close to critical damage, they will have to, have to take a long time to rebuild after they are being stopped attack, stop after the attacks in them stop. And now it's just let me take a look at how how far the uh, red and gray are. Um, red has red has a, red has a ten villager lead over gray. So red has nice. like I predicted the faster boom just by having a, a better castle age time. And red red is almost uh, is close to clicking up the imperial age. It should click up in any second now. Gray has already clicked up, so it's, uh, Gray has a weaker economy, but it's still faster up to Imperial Age being Aztecs, and it will maybe hit um, with its Eagle Warriors a bit earlier than, than Red will. Now Red is also up to Imperial Age, maybe a 30, 30 second age advantage for Gray this time, but uh, Red definitely has a stronger economy. Oh, Yellow is impressive. Look at the score and the... Yellow? Yeah, what and the, Onager, the Mangonel is doing a very oh, good job. I I didn't see that mangonel. I, w I want. Holy shit, look at all those corpses! Did that one mangonel just kill 50 archers or something? What the hell happened there? <laughs> Is that what happened? I think that score was partly due to attacking Orange at the start of the game as well. Okay, so here come the. Um, actually, Blue made some Eagle Warriors in Castle Age. Grey is an Imperial Age now, and it should be starting to attack any second now. Yeah, well. Um, yellow still isn't able to defend because now blue and yeah purple actually has a good a good number of knights here to attack so yellow has is out of the game and at yeah. least that one that one mangonel was mvp apparently killing a lot of teal's army yes exactly. i wish i wish i would have seen that okay here we go red is also in imperial age i'm um, searching plate mail not researching elite eagle yet oh god doesn't have enough resources for elite eagle upgrade that's a problem yeah, Grey has a Grey is video. coming with its Elite Eagle Warriors on blue. And yeah, now it's Ask Trunkford at least. Um, how much does it cost? Uh, 800 food, 500 gold. Yeah, now it's researching Elite Eagle Warrior at least. Does your Sergeant so go, go Mamluk? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't have that yet. It goes okay. Arbalest. Okay, and maybe camels? Yeah, um, no, n maybe. Yeah, it could go camels. It could go camels, actually. You're right, it could. It could help a lot against purple. Yeah, I think it might actually go camels, you're right. That's a good chance. No, 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 it doesn't. Because the, the camels in late game have only added in 1.0a. So not in 1.0 yet. This version doesn't have camels yet in late, late game. Okay, okay. I still see some camels, but it's uh, for the It's from the castle strategy, age, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so now here, Grey has so many Eagle Warriors here. A uh, red, uh, more than red, much more than red here. So, and because they're already grouped up, red will have a problem. Red, red uh, units are coming one by one and are getting killed. Yeah. Yellow is also dead, and now all this fighting is taking place in blue space. So, blue is also 
Yeah, Chromie definitely has already a big advantage. Yeah, it's turning, it's turning exactly like in Davis Cup Season 2, 3, to, 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 to first win, and in team games, well, Chromie, yeah. Chromie is lucky with the civilization. Yeah, this time it just got lucky. At least. <laughs> At least. It got lucky in the 3v3 with, uh, with the Sif placement for sure. This game, uh, I, I won't blame this game as much on luck, but the 3v3 was definitely pure luck. Yeah. There's no question about it. There's, there's no chance uh, Illuminati could have ever won the 3v3 if Chromie just played properly without bugging. No chance. Yeah, definitely what you said about um, green and Mamelux. Uh, one thing that Illuminati is still lacking is a lot of late game versatility. It's still lacking a lot of late game strategies for many civs, and that's that's something I haven't gotten around to because for once it's hard to test because it's much harder to test late game of course than early game. But also it takes it takes a lot of time investment. You have to set priorities as a scripter, and Illuminati is still a relatively young AI, so I haven't had time to do all of the late game stuff I'm, I wanted to do yet. Okay. Definitely in, in, in the in the future we can expect. Um, Illuminati's late game to improve a lot if I have enough time to do it. Maybe Which maybe I you, need, you, you need Felipe to help you <laughs> to yeah, improve I your. Yeah, Felipe. I, yeah. I know, I'm just jealous that Felipe is only testing <laughs> your AI and not mine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why Tribal is now better than Illuminati. <laughs> That's why. It's, exactly. It's all, I blame Felipe. <laughs> God damn it! Come back, Felipe. I need your help. <laughs> Yeah, so blue was dead, red is uh, is dead too, so green will, yeah, it's GG. will be all alone. So, um, yeah, like you said, it went similarly to the semi-final in Davis Cup Season 2, where yep. Promi and Illuminati, uh, where Pro Illuminati won the 1v1 and 2v2, and, and Promi won the 3v3 and both 4v4s. Next game, now, next game we will be 2v2. It will be 2v2 again, so maybe a chance for Illuminati to get the lead again. But for now we are evened up at 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. And the next will be 4-4. Four, four. So no. We, we can, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can potentially have seven games, maybe. <laughs> All right then, just waiting for green to take critical damage before it resigns. Yeah, at least being frank, frankish pocket is always, always yeah, especially strong. for Especially for Promi, which can always get Paladin really quickly. Yeah. And frankish Paladins in the late game, well, I don't have to say anything about that, you know. You know how strong they are. And should resign any second now. 3, 2, 1, GG. GG. 2, 2. Yeah, 30 minutes for immunity as Mayan to reach Imperial. 20 night for, for the Aztec from me. Yeah, that's, those are pretty good times for both players. Yeah. And so next game will be another two versus two. Scholio scores tied up at two two, so all evened up again, and we'll see how this game continues. Up until now, the games have been relatively lopsided in to one in one AI's favor or the other. Um, not as close as the games versus Illuminati between Illuminati and Tribal. Just one AI winning um, by a, by a huge margin, and then the other game, the other AI winning. So yeah. not as the games aren't as interesting and are much faster than in that semi-final. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of one-sided each game. So let's see if Illuminati can be as strong in the 2v2 again as it was last time. Okay, let's go. Um. Right, here we go. We have Koreans and Celts. Koreans oh. and Celts. I would say, hmm, Celt Illuminati could have a few problems um, transitioning to the Castle Age. Mm -hmm. 
Um, because that's uh, still that was one of the first tips I added to Illuminati, and I haven't gotten around yet to smoothen out the Castle Age transition. So it could have some problems in early Castle Age, maybe. But uh, Korean Illuminati is definitely one of its best uh, best tips, I would say. Yeah, we didn't see Korean for a long time. I, I don't remember having seen Korean uh, during the World Semi-Final, especially I think, against Illuminati. I think there was, uh, at some point, there was a Korean war, I believe, but I don't remember where it was. Yeah, It, it was, was some 1v1. Yeah, it was probably during the round robin. Yeah, probably during the round robin, you're right. I don't think we have seen... I think there was a Korean in one of the 3v3s or 4v4s uh, between Illuminati and Tribal. Not sure, though. Not sure. I, I've definitely seen some war wagons lately, I can tell you that much. Does it go war wagon? Yeah, of course it does. Okay, I, I didn't see any war wagon uh, against tribal. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> I don't remember, I, I don't think so. It might have been Promi versus Barbarian as well. <laughs> oh no, I think it was some exit game. So. No tournament gamer. Okay. Okay, so we have Celts versus Celts, and on the other side, Koreans versus Koreans, and the players are quite far away from each other. So it will be hard to be aggressive on this map. And again, promise the promise are so close to the map border that Illuminati could have problems scouting them again. If I'm right, Promi is pretty strong as as Korean. Should be. It's a standard yeah. sieve and probably is a, really, is a really standard AI, so it should be good at it, just like Illuminati. Yeah, I think it goes many, many um, siege onagers. Oh, yeah. With, with both, of, both of these sieves have great onagers. Exactly, yeah. That's true. And Illuminati on, uh, as Celts will definitely go heavily on, um, on siege, on all kinds of siege and infantry, either Void Raiders or pikemen. Depending on what the enemy does, if the enemy makes cavalry, then it will make pikemen, and if the enemy doesn't make cavalry, then it will try to make void raiders. Of course, it will have to drop the castle first in early castle age, which is why, like I already mentioned, the castle age transition isn't as great for the Celts. Okay, let's see. Okay, both Illuminatis are luring deer quite successfully, and Promi. I don't see green luring deer, I think green didn't, and yellow isn't either. So Promi isn't, isn't doing that this game, I don't know why. Maybe the deer are a bit too far away for its liking. Yeah, yeah, the yellow deer is pretty far. And green is trying yeah, to lure some deers, but it's not really successful actually. Okay, okay, you know what I'm seeing? Green fast castle. Oh, it's the it's the classic two v two promi bug, the fast castle bug. I just uh, hope I just hope that Illuminati is able to scout green and punish it. If it's not, then I'm this is it's just gonna be a game decided by RG again, and I hate that. <laughs> well, yep, blue has blue has found green. Blue has found green. Okay, when, when promi did it against Barbarian, it wasn't that that bad. But I think they're not gonna find yellow. So let's see, yellow had the fastest fuel age, uh, both Illuminatis went up on 26 pop, yellow went up on 24 pop. Um, and yeah, it looks like uh, Illuminati is not going to find yellow, so they might double green here. And if green tries for the fast castle, it will get heavily punished by Illuminati's doubling. But th that could open up the opportunity for yellow to attack red space while red's army is away. And red's tower placement is probably also going to be bad, because it didn't scout yellow. I so could, let's I see. could notice that uh, uh, Promia's cult didn't have the, pr the usual problem about wood. It could build very fast the two run run archer range and the blacksmith. So the start for yellow is pretty good as cult. Actually, yellow uh, green has a really good castle age time, and I think it's gonna. What's it gonna go for? Actually, it's building a market. Is it? It's going for a castle drop. Green's going for a castle drop. Here comes blue's, Ooh, blue's first yes. attack. Yeah. I hope it's not going to get getting this castle up. That would be devastating. And um, one thing I saw in the, uh, when, it, when this bug happened in the 3v3 between Promi and Barbarian was that it didn't mine enough stone to build the castle right away in Castle Age. And it looks like it's going to happen again this time. It's not mining quite enough stone here. And Illuminati will deny the stone, I hope. Go, go in, the, go in that mining camp. Yeah, it's yeah, you seeing to goes. the mining camp and hit the villagers. Stone denied. 
Yeah, pretty good. Hashtag punished. At the same time, red is coming on green. Yeah, red is also coming on green because it didn't find yellow, as we mentioned. Red? What's going on there? What's happening again? Oh, I think it just found yellow. It just oh, found yellow. lucky. Just <laughs> found yellow here. Now green is in castle age, but it can't do anything. Ooh, because it can't mine any stone anymore. Yeah. Ooh, I think that it's yeah, it's turning at the advantage of yellow. Yeah, because um, red's army was so dispersed, it can't fight focus. It can't focus its army here, and red should retreat right now. Yellow definitely won this fight. Now let's see if, uh, if yellow can attack here. Red hasn't built a defensive tower yet, so if it decides to build one, it will probably be in a better position than it would have been otherwise. But it will still probably. Yellow is actually trying to help out green. Exactly. But green, green already took so much damage. It's been completely denied stone. Hasn't built a second TC either because it doesn't have enough wood. Doesn't have any gold to do to make any units either. Doesn't even have, have any military buildings. And it keeps losing villagers. Keeps getting idled. Green has already so far behind that yellow's help here shouldn't shouldn't change that much. At least yellow's yellow's help here will take care of blue's army. So that could be good for Promi. Yeah. But, it's, but it's just damage control at this point because it's... green is so far behind. Exactly. But any I, I, anyway, I think for me. And red is attacking. Red's taking um, advantage of the opportunity of yellow helping out green to attack yellow at home. So this could also do some damage to to yellow here. Yellow now retreating its army, but um, getting villagers idle, maybe even losing some villagers. Let's see. Red's army is all here. It even has a hill there to fight. So this could be problematic for yellow. Yeah. This Illuminati fighting on the hill, killing villagers. No, almost no army from yellow here to defend, and yellow also taking critical damage here. It looks yeah, like it's decided. It looks like uh, uh, Illuminati as Korean don't train units anymore. Um, it is up to Castle Age. It's still making archers. Okay. But it's, it's gonna have a really good Castle Age time for. That's. 20 to, uh, 20 to 30 or 20 to 50 about cast edge time with Koreans? That's pretty good after Flash. Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> it's yeah. Red now also winning versus yellow. Uh, at least green is, has built a second TC now. It looks like uh, green gave up on trying to build a castle. Yes, exactly. It's what I noticed. That's true. But it's it's so, so hurt. It has lost so many villagers. It had so much idle time. It's it has the lowest village account anyway, and now green is uh, blue is also in Castle Age, and red is going to be in Castle Age any second now. So green is still at a huge disadvantage here, and yellow also took some damage from blue, uh, from red. I mean, green yes, as one barrack, one OK, it it goes one Mongonel, but it has absolutely no army except this Mongonel, so it will be pure defense. Oh, and the third DC got uh, yeah for a green. Bit forward. Yeah. Green is, I hope blue is gonna make uh, some siege, some battering ram soon. Yeah, green, uh, blue already has a siege workshop and it's training a battering ram already. So blue is, uh, blue is hoping to finish off green relatively quickly here. Yeah, it might happen pretty soon. And um, yeah, red has a bit better economy than yellow, but not by much. So this flank is still kind of even. But like I predicted, red building a castle for the castle age transition and it's still going to start making road raiders as well as siege units. And yeah, blue is added again, attacking green again, causing all the villagers to go idle again. Green has a manganel there to defend, like you mentioned, but still, green is losing so many villagers and so, taking so much idle time, so much economic damage. Doesn't, there's no way it has enough food to make uh, villagers from the three, three TCs now. And here comes the first battling ram from blue as well. So green is about to be finished. You know what would be funny, Esty? What? If it, if it goes like in the last Davis Cup between these two AIs, that Illuminati wins all 1v1s and 2v2s, and yeah. um, probably wins <laughs> all 3v3s and 4v4s, then this time Illuminati would win 4-3, just because this in this tournament the best of 7 is a bit more 1v1 and 2v2 heavy, and last time the, the best of 5 in the Davis Cup 2 had one more 4v4 than it had the other game tabs. Exactly. So it's, it's, I... just gonna, it's just gonna be decided by the, by the format. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's if a it real opportunity for Illuminati this time. <laughs> that's true. I think that there's a good chance that's how it's gonna happen because I believe Promi is still better in 4v4 than Illuminati. And like you, what you already saw, these 2v2s have been extremely one-sided. Illuminati yeah. has been wrecking yeah. Promi in these games. Once in these again, it's clear. But well, I think we we really need to to watch another four versus four. With, yeah. with, with Ferris' uh, situation for yeah. Illuminati. Maybe Illuminati can do better in this second 4v4. Yeah. 
we'll have to wait and see for that one. Um, yeah, red also going on the offensive again. Both flanks just winning their flank. And green having the fast castle buck again. We should count how much that happens. It happens all the time for Promi. All the time. Um, yeah. I'm not sure whether he fixed that bug in his local version that he hasn't uploaded yet. I think there's a possibility he already fixed it, and it will be fixed in the next version. I hope that's the case. Yeah, I because this bug is this bug is really problematic. <laughs> it's probably gonna work versus Voluminati though, because <laughs> <laughs> Voluminati will just fast castle itself. Okay, it increases speed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, red has some boat raiders here. Yellow is actually making knights, so the knights are doing well because um, red still has some skirmishers and also versus the siege of. But but versus the boat raiders, the knights aren't gonna be great. And um, red might even switch to to pikemen if there's enough knights from yellow. I don't know how many uh, units uh, the the first mongonel from from he killed, but I think it's just amazing. So many um, and we, we definitely have to watch the wreck from the 4v4, the 4v4 recording of the of Illuminati's left flank and see that one mangonel that we missed. Yep, exactly. Where, where there were so many corpses. <laughs> I want to see if there was if, how many how many how many skirmishers and uh, crossbows from Promi just that one mangonel killed. Yeah, it was a great comeback from Yellow in that game. Well, it didn't. It wasn't really a comeback. It still died, but. Just one magnet doing work. Now blue, blue also building two castles already. It's up to imperial age and is making um, making war wagons now. Well, green has nothing left. Green is down to. Let me check the populations for green. Green is down to 40 population and yellow down to 70. While Illuminati are both over 130. I think green uh, has probably a lot of food regarding the fact that no. there are so few farms actually. No, so why would it have much food? These villagers have been idle for a long time. Yeah, I mean the wood. The wood. Yeah. yeah, wood, you're right. It does have a lot of wood. 800 wood in fact. <laughs> okay. Good prediction there. <laughs> Okay, green is gonna resign pretty soon. Hopefully. And yellow also still on the losing side of that flank. <laughs> just infantry and scorpions from red. Just good good Celtic strategy. I like the strategy. Like I said, the castle edge transition isn't ideal yet, but the, the strategy itself is sound. I really can't believe that Illuminati lost against Mini Note and, and Juggernaut in the two versus two. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, why, you know why, it, why it lost versus Juggernaut? Because it got doubled, <laughs> because Juggernaut failed to scout. And you know why it lost versus Mini Note? Because it lacked the, the proper castle retreat code. <laughs> that's, the, that's your explanations. Okay. <laughs> Everything can be explained, man. Okay. Green already resigned, we're just waiting for yellow now. It's uh, already down to 50 population, it should resign very soon. Yep. Well, the Imperial time of Illuminati are usually really strong, especially in 1v1 and 2v2. Yeah, in this game, one I, did, I, did not, I did not notice uh, in this game, but it was uh, before the 40 minutes. Um, let me check the statistics. Yeah, 39 minutes for both. Okay. It's not. Uh, it could be better, but yeah, it's pretty good for a one v one. You're right. Yeah. But it, it was. It didn't take any economic damage. It was just on the offense of the whole game because yeah, that's true. of how poorly green performed and then yellow also losing. Yeah. All right. This game over. Three two for Illuminati now. The score. Yeah. Illuminati keeps leading the score. <laughs> Just by a bit, and we're gonna get into the four, next 4v4, which um, I believe uh, Promi is slightly favored. Okay, so we are we are having the same situations and Illuminati against Tribal at this at the just at that moment. Illuminati was leading three two. Um, versus Tribal, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It was leading, and then it ended up losing the last two games. Oh, do you rem do you remember that four versus four? <laughs> what happened in the four versus? There were two four versus four. I, yeah, of course, the, I, the, I mean the second one. 
<laughs> uh, it's hard to keep in mind. Illuminati was winning so clearly. Oh, you're right. That was one where yeah. Illuminati actually had an advantage. And then uh, yeah. the game the game was decided by Illuminati not getting the Paladin upgrade, if I recall correctly. Yeah. That's, that's really and strange. while Tribal did get the Paladin upgrade, and that decided the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was that was Frank's as well, or some other uh, uh, cavalry serve. Exactly. It was Frank. No, it was... Uh... It was Hans, been... Hans, I think. No, it wasn't Hans. It was definitely was not Hans. I can tell you that much. Could, I think it was Franks or maybe Persians or Spanish or Teutons, but I do think Franks. Because you, you didn't you didn't go uh, you you went Cavaliers and then you you trained something else. I yeah, I made a, it was uh, Pikeman though. Uh, how about you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. That's that's also a problem for Illuminati still that it makes too many counter units from the pocket. <laughs> So maybe maybe you threw it. It was probably Frank. Okay, so Promi against Illuminati. Uh, four vs four. Let's go. Let me check. Is this game speed okay? Two times. Perfect. Go. So let's go. Here we go. And we have the second four versus four game number six of this best of seven series. Illuminati is just leading three two, and the civilizations this time are. Spanish, Celts, Byzantines and Mongols, no Mesosifs, but we have the Spanish Illuminati, which is in the color of teal, and which is not flank. <laughs> <laughs> not flank. Got Mon lucky there. Mo Mongol and Celt for the, the promi pockets. Yeah. So where are the Byzantines? The Byzantines Illuminati for the flank, I think that's good. And Byzantine from promi is... This is the green one. Is all uh, is also on the flank. Yeah, flank. Actually, no. Uh, Illuminati's uh, Illuminati's business is on the flank. I saw that wrong. They're on the pocket. So um, I don't know. Their, their late game isn't that as great as it could be. They're not going cataphracts or anything. They're just <laughs> make, making a ton of trash that works a lot better on one v ones than it does in team games. Making yeah, a ton but, of trash. But we, we can ex we can expect a very good imperial tank. Yeah. Byzantine. Well, maybe around around uh, thirty. And they and they 30, can also make. Minutes. They can also make um, cheap camels in Castle Age. Okay. And well, Celts in the in the flank. I don't like the Celts in the flank for Illuminati. I think they would have been better off in the pocket for their ultra strong late game. And their kind of weak Castle Age transition, like I already mentioned last game. Well, what I don't like as Celt uh, when your pocket is the fact it doesn't have bloodlines. Yeah, that's true. So the Night Rush isn't quite as strong. Yeah. I really prefer having Goss or something like that. Yeah, Goss, Goss are a great pocket serve, I believe. Yeah. They have Bloodlands and Castle Age and their late game, their Imperial late game army is just ridiculously strong and cheap. Yes, that's true. But may maybe when we will be able to, to build walls, maybe uh, Goss <laughs> can be a problem. Yeah, because Goths are the worst sieve. Goths are, in my opinion, the worst sieve because they don't get stone walls. How about exactly, that? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the worst sieve. <laughs> I remember, I'm, I don't actually play the game much myself. I, I, I've actually maybe played one game this whole year. And last last year, I remember playing a game with Exip and Offer on the guys. And I was I was Goths, and I forgot that Goths don't have stone walls. Come on! <laughs> I, I was in Castle. I was in Feudal Age. I tried to build stone walls. What the fuck? <laughs> I okay, was drunk. Well, I was drunk too that game, but still. <laughs> <laughs> when you plan a pure defensive strategy and you and you just notice yeah, you your <laughs> ghost too you late, you can't forget that. <laughs> Come on. But at least ghosts are so strong that four AIs it shouldn't be a problem because they have uh, good strategies. They can just just go for man at arms flash, which uh, is good at breaking through walls as well because um, man at arms are good at killing buildings. Yes. So I still don't think um, Goths are gonna struggle in 1.5. I still think it's still a good sieve for AIs. Actually, in this, um, Goths are one of the best sieves for AIs, according to some statistics, I believe. Someone did a few tests. I don't remember who made the stats or how exactly they tested it, but I think it was something like uh, I, I, I forget. It was probably some barbarian and promi games against uh, their own kind with different sieves. And I do believe, of course, the best sieves Aztecs and Mayans. And after that, I do believe. Goths were the third best sieve. Yeah, probably. And maybe Teutonic uh, is uh, a good sieve. Yeah, Teutons, too. Teutons are a great sieve, especially in the team games. They're yes. amazing. If you get a Teuton in pocket, that's just perfect. Yeah, with uh, less expensive farms. Yeah, they, they have such a good such a good economy um, and, and great, uh, great paladins as well. Yeah. 
green and orange are close with each other. Um, Illuminati, what is doing the orange Illuminati? Okay, it's a little uh, bit yeah. late. No, 26 population, that's compared standard. To, compared to green. Yeah, Promi. Yeah, green had a faster privilege. We often see that from Promi. They have going up on tr about 24 population, while Illuminati almost always waits for 26 population before it goes up. Yep. And yeah, okay. At least we don't see a fast castle bug from Promise flanks this time. So all on the fuel age, all flanks are not fuel age. And the pockets, uh, Promi has Mongols and Celts. In the, oh, Promi has a Celt pocket. Come on. Yeah. Illuminati has Byzantines in Spanish. Well, Spanish aren't bad in the pocket either. And Spanish, uh, that means that Promi has a Spanish flank. Is that blue? Yeah, that's blue. So blue is going for a pure skirmisher flash, and it could have some problems in early Castle Age, it's especially <laughs> the, the economy for blue. Uh, I've seen it in, in a previous game of Promi, where it focuses heavily on elite skirmishers and knights in early Castle Age, and doesn't have any, any food to boom. Come on, once again, Illuminati as purple didn't find its closest enemy. Did it, did it not? Oh, come yeah, on. It's I need, going I need to... on green. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yes, yesterday you told me that humanity has a, a very good exploration. What? They the... found blue. They found blue. Really? Why is it one, one of the Illuminati? I think they might have just found it recently, so it's still attacking there. Okay. Let's see. Blue has definitely been found. Oh yes, you, you're true. Now, okay. now they're going on. Purple blue, is yeah. going on blue. So it found it late. Yes. Okay. The problem now is that Purple's army is going to be dispersed and not all together in the same spot. And there's a ton of wolves attacking Purple's army because they just ran across all the map. So I really want to see Illuminati's pocket being aggressive early in this castle age. Let's see, um, Spanish? Really important. Uh, uh, Spanish already has three TCs, so that's what's not going to be aggressive. But um, Grey, which is Byzantines, only still on one TC, I still th I think that one might be a bit more aggressive. Let's see, once they get their first couple of knights out, they should assist their flanks here. Yeah. yeah, come on. Okay, I see, okay. I see Blue having already some spearmen. Hmm, well, okay, I guess, I guess it made that just an anticipation of uh, of pocket knights just assume that the pockets going knights no matter what might not be the best choice but it works it will work this case probably because gray will be sending its knights momentarily i believe on the other flank we already have teal knights coming going towards no they're just defending orange so on the southern flank illuminati isn't going aggressively it's just staying passive and purple is also retreating now. Yeah. Um, and yellow, yeah, yellow, yellow, yellow is not really attack. The problem is blue has so many skirmishers, and that could be a problem for Illuminati's army, for for purple's army especially. At least there are some a few gray knights, not many though. Okay, a few more are coming. I hope Illuminati will be able to defend here. Yeah, here comes the first knight from yellow, and the gray knights are killing that one no problem. And blue is still attacking. Okay, let's see. Yellow is still with one TC. A second TC is really restriction. Yeah, for that's that's very unusual for Promi, I would say. Very unusual. Usually Promi is is extremely all in on the boom. Yeah. Okay. But this time it's more aggressive. Yeah. Let's see this fight here. Um, actually, it's not all, it's in purple and and gray are still winning the fight. Yes. No, no, no. The yellow the yellow knights are on the, on the other side of purple space. So they they were killing villagers while the fight was happening. So now Grey's knights are moving on to attack blue, while yellow knights are still attacking purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, at least um, orange is in, in Castle Age now, and purple will be momentarily. So I believe that's faster than the Promi flanks. Yeah, Illuminati flanks being a bit faster to Castle Age, but purple already taking a bunch of damage from those yellow knights. And Tilio's side is doing a good job supporting orange against those, those uh, green militaries. Here we go then. All now all the flanks on Castle Age, so pretty much almost the same time for all of them. In pretty good time for all of them. And yeah, Orange is trying to build a castle here, but red the red knights are killing so many villagers with Orange's yeah, base. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. This is this is horrible for Orange. Losing so many villagers. Oh. The castle is gonna go up, but still, so many villagers. I wonder how many it lost there. Oh my god, it keeps losing, it keeps losing there. Come on. 
Horrible. Okay, horrible. It, it might be boot, but with how many villagers the, the, the that, that This was definitely not worth the sacrifice it took. <laughs> <laughs> Orange paint for this for this castle with blood. A lot of blood. Okay, on the other side at least, um, purple now going on the offensive, but yellow knights uh, can deny this attack without problems. Um, gray, as predicted, is uh, mixing in a few camels. Yeah, but blue has already a uh, castle. Okay, in yellow. Front of the town. Let me compare the po the boom from the pockets. We have yellow and red for Promi, and um, actually, yeah, um, teal and gray have a better boom this time than than red and yellow. So not what we expected. Illuminati actually has a slightly better boom in the pocket than Promi this time. Somehow, like you pointed out earlier, yellow was staying very aggressive and didn't even build a multiple TCs early on, which is very unlike what we usually see from Promi. But it paid off in, in so far as that they managed to win that flank and are now going on a heavy attack versus, or versus purple, I mean. And purple will have a hard time defending it. There's only a few gray, a few gray camels here to defend and that won't be enough. Yep. And Orange suffered so much against the red, red knights. Yeah, it lost so many, so many villagers that the Illuminati flanks are really a lot behind now. Let's hope the pockets can make up for it with a better boom. Okay, um, Grey just clicked up to Imperial Age, and Teal is about to click up as well. Let me compare that to the pockets from Promi. And Red also already up, and. Uh, yellow not yet. So yellow is gonna have the slowest imperial age time for the pockets um, being the, the slowest to start booming and Red is the Celt pocket. So the, I think red can have a, a big impact this game being Celts. Yes And Byzantines well, like I already said uh, Illuminati Byzantine late game isn't that strong in team games It just as a trash flood. So tons of halberdiers and elite skirmishers Might work, but it's pre pretty slow. Not that great in team games Spanish on the other hand We'll try to go for Paladins, so I do hope this this pocket will work well. Yes. Okay, you can see um, Orange is defending really well with a bunch of mangonels here. Yes, doesn't even, the, doesn't castle, need the castles. Yeah, the, the castle, castle too. is really important. And yes, you're true, those, those four niggers are impressive. Good job. And actually, a Grey kept attacking blue without helping purple, just kept attacking blue. And uh, yellow isn't really defending it there, so maybe graded a bit of damage, but definitely not a lot. Definitely not a lot. Here we go then. Um, players are reaching the Imperial Age. Even yellow is up to Imperial Age now. It will be dislodged from the pockets. And um, Teal is already on the offensive. Teal, let me check the upgrades from Teal. Um, it's getting Cavalier, it's getting Plate Boarding Armor, exactly what you expect. And it's overwhelming green space right now. It has a ton of knights already. And Grey is now also training a lot of trash. And sending the, sending it still towards blue space, and those uh, those pikemen can uh, make short work of yellow knights as well. So it might even get an advantage at this side. And blue is blue making conquistadors. Where's the castle? Yes. Rest? Oh, it's up there. Okay, I see it now. Not really in the defensive spot, but at least it's throwing the battering rams from gray all the way through the base. <laughs> And making conquistadors now. Like I, I pointed out multiple times, I don't like making conquistadors in the late game. They're really only a good choice in early, in really early castle age, in my opinion. I didn't see how how fast uh, purple died. A purple got dragged by uh, by yellow and blue. Now they're still they're still attacking blue uh, purple at least. So gray is untouched, and gray yeah, keeps trying to attack blue, but not very successfully because it keeps running into the armies of blue and yellow. Purple is actually rebuilding. Purple is rebuilding um, at teal space. And now red. Red is coming. Okay, oh, with, with a with a red is coming with a lot of infantry and siege here, attacking orange. So orange could also be in a lot of uh, in a lot of trouble here. Yep. Teal doesn't have the paladin upgrade yet. Yeah, and those halberdiers are definitely a problem for teal's knights, cavaliers rather. I hope they can focus on the siege here. Well, I, th th I, I think yellow did a very good work in Castle Age. Yeah, re yellow did really well yeah. versus purple there. Okay, Grey has now fully upgraded Hyperdeers and fully upgraded Elite Skirms. I think it's just missing chemistry there, also almost fully upgraded. And it's attacking blue now. That army is now it has a big enough army to take care of all of the of blue's army. And yellow, I don't see where yellow is anymore. 
I think Gray might be doing okay versus both of those players, 1v2. But on the other side, uh, Orange is also going down, which is very bad for Illuminati. Now, now Teal has finally pa the Paladin upgrade. At least that's going, has, has that going for it, but the Red Halberdiers are doing a great job versus the Paladins. Yeah, Green is really, really dead. Yeah, but Blue is also now going down, slowly but surely. Yeah. I think the problem is that Gray is 1v2 on that flank. And um, Teal, actually, yeah, Teal did a lot of damage already to Green. So Green is also pretty much out of the game. And maybe Purple can rebuild, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, Purple is already up to 30, uh, the 30 villagers. It has a TC there, at Teal's base, like I already said. And there, yeah, Teal pumping out a bunch of, a bunch of uh, Paladins. It's... I think Illuminati still has a chance. Still has a chance. Yeah, I agree with you. And I'm, but, sur but I'm surprised to see to, to see Purple having okay having built a, a siege workshop uh, in the teal base, close to a TC. Yeah, it's right, right next to a TC. That's something I fixed in 1.0a as well. And um, it it didn't it stop it stops making um, military units when it's rebuilding. But I forgot to add that it's not not to make siege either. Okay. So right now it's still making it's still making some battering rams for no reason when it shouldn't. But that's not a problem. It has it has too much wood and gold anyway. Okay, we see red red pushing pushing, red pushing. the range now. The, the red infantry is a big problem for Teal's army. Yeah, as you said. Yeah, I think Promi is now finally able to push its advantage to finally win this game. Yeah, because um, eventually blue is fine. Yeah, blue is pretty fine. Keeps making elite conquistadors for some yes. reason. But they're doing well versus the trash army from uh, from Grey, and it also has a lot of elite skirmishers itself. And yeah, Orange is also very decimated. I think Orange is also just trying to rebuild at this point. Oh, it's, they're, rebuild, they're building TCs in the middle of the map there. But they're not going to be much use because the Yellow's army is going there. And Yellow is yellow is Mongols, and it's, it has elite Mangodai. I think they're almost fully upgraded. They're still missing Bracer, actually, Yellow. What's going on there? Okay, just getting Bracer now. Okay. So fully, I believe fully upgraded to Mangadai now. Yep. Maybe missing one armor upgrade, yeah. Missing one armor upgrade. But other than that... Well, Grey is still holding its own 1v... Yeah, now just 1v1 versus Blue, still making progress, but it's too slow. And on the other flank, Illuminati has no chance uh, to in this 1v3, basically. Or 1v2 rather, because green is also out of the game. But just yellow and red versus teal are winning that one. Yeah, as you said, I'm impressed by the diversity of the unit trend as Byzantine for Illuminati. Yeah, I don't know uh, if it would have been better to make cataphracts here. Probably not. It's uh, teal, is grey still making paladins? Uh, um, I mean, the Cavaliers, yeah, Grace yes. also still making Cavaliers. Yeah, because, Cavaliers. Because Blue doesn't have anything to counter them, it's still making some Cavaliers as well. And they're not that bad, they at least have all the armor upgrades. So still better than Celtic Paladins. <laughs> yeah. But on the other side now, well, um, I don't think Teal has taken that much damage yet. But at least uh, Purple's rebuilding efforts are a bit harmed by the by the pushes of Red and Yellow. Yeah, and anyway, Red is busy with Orange, so it keeps uh, Teal alive, actually. If, if this game drags on long enough, then Purple will be able to rebuild. But Green has also just uh, had, a, had a good rebuild already. Yeah, Green's already up to 125 pop again. So Green already almost fully boomed, and it didn't make any military units in that time either. So good good job from Green rebooming here from Promi. Yes. And it will be entering this game again pretty soon, and then it will be over for Illuminati 2v4. Yeah, Teal and Grey are now both occupied with trying to take down Blue. And it's taking too long, it's taking far too long. At least this game is 
has been pretty interesting and relatively even. Yeah. But I, I do believe Promi has had an advantage for the longest time. It just hasn't been able to finish the game yet. Okay, Red has Siege Onigas now, Celtic Siege Onigas, and a ton of uh, Halberdiers as well, and Elite World Raiders fully upgraded. That's a, that's, that's a strong leg in army. Okay, but so I see, I see Green actually attacking right now. Yeah, Green, with now Green is fully boomed again and fully in the game again. While blue is still not dead. Blue is still wasting all the time. And yellow is helping it there with a lot of elite manga dice and uh, entry stars with a ton of HP being um, Mongols. Yeah, blue is an impressive army, actually. I wouldn't call it impressive for a Spanish Lake and army. Skirmishers and elite conquistadors? <laughs> well, I Com mean. Compared to Tears army. I no. mean, there are a lot. <laughs> it's a shit unit composition in the late game. Okay, now Promi should finally be able to make its push to finish the game. Yeah, each side looks to be in the favor of Promi, clearly. It's a, it's a 4 versus 2, actually. Yeah, no, yeah, 4 versus 2 at this point. Purple is still needs some a bit, a bit more time to rebuild. And Orange is... yeah, Orange has nothing. Okay, Siege, Siege Runeggers for the Kelt and Siege Rams. Uh, so, so many Halberdiers now, there's no chance for the Tier Paladins anymore. Yep. Because now the um, Green is also back into the game and Byzantine Halberdiers are so cheap. Yeah, Tier has no more defense. Okay, now um, yeah, yellow is also finally getting into, into gray space. Also, a lot of siege here, <laughs> siege rams from Mongols with the drill upgrade, really really fast, and they, they won't will have won't take a long time to take care of gray space here. Even though gray is a ton of castles. Okay, first Illuminati resigned. That's orange, which already was the weakest one. Yeah. And green has fully upgraded elite cat effects now as well. Yes. Even has even has plate burning. <laughs> nice promi. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, that's there. That goes orange, uh, purple, I believe. Yep. And just yeah. Next, no, just next may be gray, I guess. Yeah. Gray is losing population really fast now. Shouldn't be much as soon, uh, much longer until they resign. And same for Teal. Well, at least this game Illuminati showed that it can be a match for Promi in the 4 v but Promi was still slightly better. Yeah. This time, I, this time yes, I can't true. play luck. <laughs> yeah. So Illuminati needs a little bit more work in team games. <laughs> Especially in the late game, yeah. Okay, let's start. All right, let's we are start all... the ultimate games. Yeah, and we're all even up again in this best of seven. The score is 3 3 between Illuminati and Promi, and we will need the ultimate 1v1 game to decide which one gets the third place and which one will be left in fourth. Okay, you're ready. Yep. Yeah. Okay, give me just a second. Il faut juste un quart d'heure de plus. You what, mate? Okay. Oh, what do we have? Aztecs. Yeah, Aztec War. Aztecs, Aztec War, a real classic. A real classic. And Illuminati was actually uh, originally only an Aztec 1v1 AI, 
but there's nothing left from that era of Illuminati. It went always past Castle, now it always flushes. So no relation to the original Illuminati, but still, I do believe it's pretty good with Aztecs, but so is Promi. Really standard AIs, and they are pretty close to each other on this map. Yes, yes that's true. There's a guy in our chat complaining <laughs> that the, the a TSA attack looks ugly compared to attack now. It's funny. <laughs> Come on. Who cares how it looks, mate? It's not a beauty contest. And uh, also, yeah, walling is almost useless um, at this point, but uh, it will be it will be possible in the next user patch upgrade. Then walling will be much more possible for AIs, and I will definitely implement it into mine. Voluminati. Hashtag Voluminati. Okay, let's see if uh, Blue is trying for a boar steal. No, it doesn't look like it. Blue didn't find its resources quickly enough to try a boar steal. Ah, I would have loved to see a boar steal, yeah. Too bad. I think that's one more time. I mean, he has a, a bad map compared to to, to Promi. I wouldn't say that. Wood. I would not say that because the wood of uh, Promi is all on a hill. So those villagers will be slowed down by the elevation. Always have to consider that. And also, there's a, a bunch of hills around Promi space. So, if Illuminati attacks, then it could also be a, a, a good advantage for Illuminati. So, yeah, I won't. The, I don't the, agree with you. The, I do not agree with you. The back forest is, uh, is edge. Yeah, know. but but it won't matter that much in the early game. There's still enough trees to get a bit uh, get a bit of wood. Yeah, that that first llama camp from Illuminati definitely will be useless really quickly. That's true. But uh, the other features of the map are, in, are worse for Promi, I would say. So, yeah, different maps, very different maps with uh, disadvantages for both AIs, of course, at least. So, the question is Illuminati uh, can find a dread person, Promi, considering the fact it is very close to the. Board. Yeah, in 1v1, Illuminati scouting code is impeccable, mate. Okay. <laughs> but Illuminati is relatively far from the map border and Promi is pretty close. That might be a problem because yeah. uh, that, that, that's what determines the scouting distance for Blue. Let me see how Blue is going to sc... Uh, um, uh, well, it's, it's Aztec, so the Eagle Warrior has a longer, uh, longer um, uh, field of view, uh, fast, uh, further line of sight, I mean. So it, it probably won't have a problem finding right here. Let's see though. Okay, Illuminati up the field edge with 26 population. Promi again faster with 24 pop. So about a minute faster on the field edge time. Let's see um, if Red has enough wood to build two archery ranges straight away. I don't believe it will. So the second archery range might be a bit delayed for Promi. Yeah. I think. No, well, not much. I think Promi's QT should uh, delay a little bit. It's what? Field a little time. What just happened? It lost. I think it got all the economic upgrades, so it didn't even have enough wood. Yeah. It doesn't have enough wood for the second uh, archery range straight away. Yeah. Illuminati now. Field edge immediately dropping to archery ranges. No such problem there. And yeah, well, the wood is definitely going to be a problem for Illuminati. Both lumber camps on that on that lake and in front of the base yeah. might be, yeah, could be a problem. Let's see. Um, I don't believe Illuminati will attack early here unless Promi for some reason doesn't make enough units. Does Promi? So in the first one we won, um, Promi lost the game because it didn't have a blacksmith, right? Yes, that's true. And in this game, we'll see if it keeps making farms again. It doesn't save. No, it already has almost enough food for, uh, wood for a blacksmith. Yeah, it's building it now. So I guess it was a bug in the in the earlier game that it didn't. It just kept making farms and didn't save wood for the blacksmith. That yeah. must have been a bug. Yeah, probably. Illuminati also has a blacksmith. Also already has fletching, and no one attacking yet. Um, could you slow down the game a bit to normal? Oh yeah, yeah. I just noticed. I just noticed how fast it is. I saw many arches from Promi and many more skirmishers for for uh, Illuminati. It can be a key if it attacks yeah, but it will only attack if it has a numerical advantage, and I don't think it does. Otherwise, it wasn't it wouldn't have built a tower. Oh, you know what? Illuminati hasn't found red. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. So that's why I was just wondering about the tower placement, and that's that would be why. Yes. 
But as long as Promi doesn't attack, that shouldn't be a problem either. I guess what matters next is the fuel age times. I think, yeah, it means that cast might, might find red. Oh, no. Come on, just uh, go out of natural wonders, select the eagle warrior and send it into red space. <laughs> In your <laughs> dreams, sort of. <laughs> you rigged all the other games, come on. You rigged all the other games against Illuminati. Might as well rig one in Illuminati's favor. <laughs> Come on. Okay then. Um, Promi, yeah, Promi's gonna have the better castle age type because it didn't make many skirmishes, if any. I don't see any actually. So that could be an advantage here for Promi. And also, if this game gets to the late game, Aztecs, Illuminati's Aztec late game isn't isn't great. It still doesn't have enough uh, strategy uh, variability. I think this is the worst case for Illuminati here. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad because they are really close with each other. Yeah, Prom is already up to Imperial Age, Illuminati will be delayed. Okay. You know what? You know what? Tell me. Promi hasn't found Illuminati either. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> Promi has really bad scouting. <laughs> Where are they even going? Are they just going all on the <laughs> Illuminati scout? Yeah, it's all what it found, actually. <laughs> God damn it, what's up with the scouting? So, pro yeah. Okay, so Illuminati also up to Castle Age, I think over a minute later than Promi. Oui, mais j'en ai plus pour un temps là. Okay, now Promi just found Illuminati, I believe. If it attacks now, that could be the advantage it needs. But it doesn't look like Promi wants to attack here. At least it found Illuminati now. Ooh, it's it's forwarding a tower. Wow, let's let's see if Illuminati can kill the villagers before it goes up. That can be a problem. It might. Oh my god. It might. Mm. I think it's just gonna go up. I think it's just gonna go up. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Oh yeah. The tower can kill a lot of units here from Illuminati, and if uh, Promi attacks now, I don't know. What? Okay, it keeps it keeps sending villagers there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and all of, look at the range units just chipping away at the tower, <laughs> because the tower... Okay, now I think Promi is moving to... No, it's not. It should really attack at this yeah, point. That, exactly. This is how it would get an should. advantage. I see a siege workshop for red and... Both, one, both AIs one still one on 1TC. Yeah, okay, that forward tower was pretty useless. And it lost a bunch of villagers for Promi. Okay. And it didn't attack I, at the it. Illuminati eventually found red. Yeah, it found it now. Finally. <laughs> After 26 minutes of the game. But it's not gonna attack because it doesn't have the advantage. Let's see who is gonna build their TCs earlier. Promi hasn't built a second TC yet. Illuminati is building its second one right now. Okay, I think I think the, they will stay very different in the world castle age. Yeah, it's very possible. And both at the same villager number as well, but now Illuminati has one TC more than Promi. So it might get a little boom advantage here. I think Promi just dropped its second TC, yeah, it did. But Illuminati should build its third one just right now. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Building some more. What does it get? I think it's researching handcard. Anyway, um, yeah, this game might drag on a long time and I think Promi might have the advantage in the Imperial Age because it's gonna make champions while Illuminati will make Eagle Warriors. So not a good situation for Illuminati in my opinion. Now Promi building its 30C, Illuminati still hasn't built its 30C, I don't know what it used all of its wood on, I think some upgrades and um, it didn't really need the siege units because it's not attacking anyway. Yeah, I think it was just because of the tower, maybe. No, 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 no. It started building a workshop when it saw the tower. Um, it would have built the workshop anyway, I believe. But still, it's gonna have enough wood for the uh, second TC any second now. If it doesn't keep making farms. Okay, Illuminati is starting its attack against. Oh, uh, okay. Zat. Let's see. Can At least it forward TC. now this now the siege uh, units can be of uh, of use here, and it has some eagle warriors too, but uh, not many, and without any armor upgrades, they're not gonna tank much. Oh, I think these units are gonna block all of the, all of the battering rams. Mangonels are dead. Yeah, the battering rams are being blocked. And the units keep retreating into, into them. Yep, not great. 
Hmm. Yeah, now Illuminati is having his attack because it lost most of its army. Promi? No. No one's close to going up Imperial yet, so at least there's that. Illuminati is still on two TCs. I've never heard enough wood. I think there's, there's some other rules interfering here. Or is there not a good spot to build a TC? There should be. Yep. Okay, it's okay, Prom is not TC. trying to detect. Yeah. Ah, it's building a lumber camp. I, should, I think it will be a TC. Not. Now Prom is trying to, to attack here and it, it won this initial fight, but if it loses the Mangonel here. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think Promise has a good advantage here. It shouldn't lose this army. Yeah, let's see what Illuminati can do with its Manganel. No. Oh, Illuminati lost most of its uh, and even had some. Yeah, now Promi has a almost 20 villager lead already. And Promi should be up to Imperial Age soon. Yeah, almost has enough resources now. Yeah, I think it's GG. I think probably won this one. It would take an absolute miracle here to turn this around at this point. It probably is a ton of skirmishers, but yeah. it's yeah. up to Imperial Age. It's up to Imperial Age. And what's it gonna go for in Imperial Age? Not building any more barracks at this point. Doesn't have enough wood. I don't know. I don't see how Illuminati can come back from this, but if Promi is helping it, then maybe. Well, it's a moment or never for Illuminati. Especially yeah, with that Manganel command. Be because uh, because um, Promi's army is pure skirmishers, Illuminati has a chance, but only because of that. Yeah. Give me a second, please. And Illuminati's uh, Manganel micro is helping, but it isn't quite enough. Yeah, probably. I don't know what Prom is gonna do in Imperial Age. I think, yeah, it's building more barracks now. I think it might go for either Eagle Warriors or Champions. Champions would be a, might be a good choice as soon as Illuminati switches to Eagles itself. But uh, Illuminati won this fight now because Promi for some reason switched to pure Eagles, uh, pure um, skirmishers, I mean, which is, I do believe, Promi's no strategy strategy. So Promi did its best to help Illuminati here. Maybe it can turn it around. Let's see. What, is, what, what Promi is gonna do in Imperial Age. It built a few more barracks, but it's not making anything from them. It just keeps making skirmishes for some reason. And Illuminati... Is not, Illuminati is finally up to Imperial Age and starts making a ton of Eagle Warriors now. Let's see what Promi can do here. Oh, there's, there's, there's no way Illuminati is winning this. There's no way! Promi keeps making skirmishes! Keeps making skirmishes. This is the promy thing. The just promy thing. Uh, just promy things. Promy thing. The, the no strategy strategy. <laughs> the no strategy strategy, dude. Ooh, yes, it's the amazing. no strategy strategy. That's <laughs> how promy can you get? There's nothing more promy than a no strategy strategy, is there? A few full skirmisher versus eagle warrior strategy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is, <laughs> yeah, Illuminati will be in, in Pivot Age any second now. Promi didn't take any advantage of its fa much faster Pivot Age time or of its better boom. It kept making pure skirmishes, but Illuminati already started mixing in Eagle Warriors in mid Castle Age because Promi was making pure skirmishes. And Promi seems to also want to make some Eagle Warriors, or uh, was it just a converted one? What's Promi actually doing now? No, okay. still, still full skirmishes, still full skirmishes. This is so promy! You're throwing away the whole series! You're, you're gifting Illuminati the third, the third place. Why? Why promy? I mean, I'm happy that my eye is winning, but still, it shouldn't be this easy. And I've actually seen, I've actually seen this many times in my test games, 1v1 versus promy. If, it, if it's a mezzo war, then it, this always happens, that Illuminati switches to uh, Eagle Warriors, and promy keeps making pure skirmishers versus the Eagles. That's the worst possible thing you can do. <laughs> the worst possible! That's so promy! Oh, it deleted all its farms, so it's really GG. It's so promy, it's on to 50 population. It's so promy. Promy, please! Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Okay, I have, I have to, tell, to tell you, I was. I, 
AFK during yeah, two minutes. I, and I noticed that. And when <laughs> I came when back, happened. I was oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna make a compilation of Aleph versus Promi AI. I put all the all the moments where Promi does Promi things and I comment on it into a compilation. That's gonna happen. Yeah. This has <laughs> because Promi is just so ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> just why? <laughs> what am I looking at? How could you possibly throw this game with such an advantage? Just Promi things. Yeah, it goes, it goes full skirmishers, but if you see, it doesn't, it, it, it isn't full upgraded. At least it, it could go full skirmishers, but upgraded would be, uh, would be GG, 4-3, okay, Illuminati is third place in Davis Cup Season 3, and Promi will be left on fourth place. G fucking G. Yeah, great game. And at wow. least that, wow. that one versus one was very funny to watch. And you know what? You know what? Exactly what we kind of predicted. Illuminati won all the 1v1s, 2v2s, probably won all the 3v3s, 4v4s. Exactly, yeah. So, no surprise <laughs> eventually. Okay, that, nice. that last game was a huge surprise. That Promi bug, I mean, that happens relatively commonly that Promi does the no strategy strategy and makes skirmishers versus eagle warriors. But it's so bad and it just completely threw this game. <laughs> That's, oh my god, I, I still can't believe it. That Illuminati was just gifted this victory just like that. So, ah. yes, you got, we got officially Illuminati number three of this tournament. And Again, same placement as Illuminati got last time. That's true. But Promi dropped from place two to place four. Yep. And tri Tribal is actually the one that overtook both of them. Yeah, so maybe, I guess, tomorrow the final, the grid final between Barbarian and Tribal. To yeah, the grand final. That's the last game left. Another best of seven between Barbarian and Tribal, which had had an amazing journey this tournament, I would say, and has really deserved uh, its its spot in the grand final. And it fought for it hard. Um, great props for, to Tribal, and we're gonna see how it can perform versus Barbarian in the grand final tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. I really want Thank to see that. <laughs> so, all yes, right. I Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Um, if you didn't catch it, you can also watch all of our games on YouTube. Just search for AI Scripters. I upload all the games there that we cast on here. And I hope to see you all tomorrow for the grand final. Yes, and thank you. Thank you, Aleph, for having uh, opened this uh, YouTube channel, which uh, give us the opportunity to, to show what AIs can do. And oh, yeah, it's a good to, to preserve it. For, for the scripters and for our AIs. So see you guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Peace out.